All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and the Trials meta has shifted once more. This season has been an absolutely wild season. Love it or hate it, Bungie has done some crazy sandbox changes. Obviously, we have the changes to Flinch. We have the changes to Airborne Effectiveness, where you now have to, like, spec into it and all that. But the sandbox and the weapons that are being used as the meta inside PvP are drastically changing week by week. And last week, we saw the rise of a variety of different weapons that I did not expect to see in the top 10. Now, before we jump into the top 10, comment down below which weapon do you think was the number one most used weapon from last weekend in Trials of Osiris. Here we go. The top 10 weapons were as follows. According to DestinyTrialsReport.com, we have the No Time to Explain Exotic Pulse Rifle in the number one spot. Definitely surprised to see that so high up there. But given the size of the map and the fact that there was no zone trials so you didn't have the uh the advantage of being able to close the distance or you know play within a small space i can see a lot of people really liking no time to explain and playing distance way out in the back of the spawn um, i myself swapped over to no time to explain and played a ton with it i'm probably responsible for at least a million of these kills I'm kidding of course uh, but i'm responsible for a good amount of them because i knew this thing was really good and as soon as i put it on i was like wow this thing is unbelievably lethal it two bursts right off the rip Obviously, you can get the perk to proc, but it, it didn't seem to proc very consistently, and it didn't matter much that you got the little you know little chasers to proc and shoot after them because it was just so lethal at those two bursts. And of course, team shooting is really the goal with this. If you have two of these aimed at one person, they die almost instantly. One burst from each person kills them, so no time to explain the number one most used weapon. Let me know if you rocked that last week, and if next week's map is a big map, you better believe a lot of people are going to be rocking that. The peace of mind went to the number two spot. This was previously the most popular pulse rifle. Obviously, it's getting shown up by the no time to explain. There are different archetypes, though. Drastically are used very differently inside PvP. You have a 540 RPM, which is rapid fire, a little more close to mid-range, whereas no time to explain is definitely mid to long range only. And to the number three, we get the Ostringer. Um, a little bit of a popularity uh, favoritism with the Ostringer, considering you know, it's new, you can craft it, you can get the god roll. So I can see why a lot of people like that. Of course, most people probably using that you know, enhanced rangefinder, enhanced eye of the storm. Let me know if you're using a different role or crafting a different role out there for PvP. Number four goes to the Beloved, another craftable weapon, and obviously a really good sniper, and on a big map. Not surprised to see the Beloved do as well as it did. I kind of thought the Beloved would be the number two most used weapon, considering how well the Beloved has done in the previous weeks, and this is a much bigger map, but for whatever reason, the Beloved didn't get as many kills as the Peace of Mind or the Ostringer last weekend. The number five spot goes to the main ingredient, Probably still the culprit is Xur's main ingredient sitting out there. A lot of people still using that. Of course, Bungie has nerfed those perks on it. So if you are looking for a different fusion or if you don't have that fusion, just go for one that has like really high stability, something that constrains those bolts tightly. Fusions are pretty simple to use. You know, you just aim, you know, around their mid section and the, the rest of the burst tends to hit them. And uh, they're very, very strong in the current sandbox, especially as shotguns have been nerfed so hard. And we'll notice that there aren't any shotguns in the top 10 at all last weekend. Obviously, a huge map, no zone trials. Not too surprised, but definitely interesting to see how Bungie has effectively gotten shotguns nerfed to the, to the level that they're not even in the top 10 on some weekends of trials. The number six most used weapon is the last word. Bungie gave a small buff to this to mouse and keyboard. Still extremely potent. Obviously, the range you're using this at is not going to be especially conducive to the map that we played last weekend. But at some point in time... People are going to get close to you, and when they do, the last word is going to absolutely melt your face off, so not surprised there. The BXR Battler, another pulse rifle making it in the top 10. Are we in a pulse rifle meta? Is it a pulse rifle season? I don't think so. I think it really depends on the mode. If we get a small map, like for example, if next week is Endless Veil, vale, you're not going to see these crazy pulse rifle numbers. There's just no way. I'm sure the peace of mind will be up there, but besides the peace of mind, you're probably not going to see the other ones. Uh, because Endless Veil vale is just too small of a map. And then the same thing applies with Zone Trials. I think that Zone Trials will also push people away from using Pulse Rifles, but I could be wrong. We need some time to see how Trials plays out in future weekends. The number eight spot goes to the Jotun, or Yotun. I know everyone gets very offended when I call it the Jotun. I just got used to saying that, and I kind of find it funny how upset people get when I call it Jotun. So I'm going to continue to call it Jotun. And uh, I'm really sad that this thing is doing as well as it is. Um, moving on to the number nine spot, we have the Adept Messenger. Now, I tried to rock this because I thought to myself, wow, what an awesome combination. I can use my Lord of Wolves, even though it got nerfed pretty hard. I still like Lord of Wolves. I can rock the Messenger, which is that 340 RPM, which is the same RPM as the No Time to Explain. And I can use my, I don't have an exact God roll, but I have a really good roll. I can use that roll, 
with the Lord of Wolves, and I kind of have everything. I got the long range, I got the close range, got everything on lock. But the problem was that I just didn't like the messenger as much as the no time to explain. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comment section below. Do you have a god roll messenger? Do you like the messenger more than the no time? Do you think that the messenger with the god roll is better than the no time? I'll be coming out with a video of that very soon where I analyze the data and look at the, the exact god roll of the adept messenger and see if I think it's better than no time. But I want to get some thoughts and opinions down in the comments below before I jump into that video. The number 10 spot goes to the dead man's tail, which is a bit surprising because this thing has been nerfed pretty heavily. Uh, maybe people just used to it by force of habit, but uh, I don't think the no time really hangs in there with the no time to, or the dead man hangs in there with the no time to explain rather, um, because the range and the lethality is just so much more significant with the no time. Those two bursts are so nasty. So that is the trials meta report from last weekend. We're in our third weekend of trials. The population is actually looking really good though. We're at 327,000 players last weekend, which is almost the exact same number of players from Convergence. And the week before that, on Burnout, we had 362,000 players. So it would seem as though three weeks deep, we're at a consistent, you know, lower 300,000 in trials. And there's not even some loot that's that impressive. I mean, last weekend we had the Adept Summoner, which to be honest, is a really good 600 RPM, especially if you need solar in PVE. And it does have some really good PVP roles, but overall, it's really not that exciting of weapon. I mean, it's not a top 10 weapon by any means. You're not busting this thing out in PVP on any map in any weekend of trials and absolutely slaying. But it does hold its own. So uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because I think it's really impressive that Trials is remaining over 300,000. I can't wait to see what the population looks like when it's the Adept Fusion Rifle. That Adept Fusion Rifle is definitely worth grinding for. And I'm sure the population will go up because of it. If it doesn't, I would be greatly surprised because it's actually a really good weapon and something that I think a lot of you are excited for. Let me know down in the comments, will you be grinding Trials of Osiris when the Adept Fusion comes out? Whatever week that may be. It might be next week, might be the week after that. Who knows? Eventually, Bungie is going to have to give us that carrot on the stick. But that's a wrap for this Trials meta report. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.